All right. Here we go. The first play along lesson session. Shall I call it that? So, here we start with the basic grooves and you found out what they are. Now, this is a lesson about, about basic groove number one. Let's settle into this. This video is no use to you if you're just watching it. Play along. Even if you're just body drumming it, you could do that, no problem. Or on the table, whatever you use, you know, to be uh, a mimic, a drum set, play along with these videos. Otherwise, they're no use. Let's start. Here we go. The basic groove number one. Here we have the eight hi-hats, bass drum. Sorry, snare drum, bass drum, snare drum. But then together with the hi-hat, you get this. One and two and three and four. And I'll play it again. And two and four and one and two and three. And now let's stop on the one. One. So every time, I'll be playing the groove three times. So one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four stop on the one did you notice that there were three of them let's do it again one and two and three and and again one and two so that will be the second time and one more time one and two and three and four and stop on the one one two Three, here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and three. Second time. Very good. And third time. And then stop on the one. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Now I'm doing two things at the same time. One, and two, and this is my second time. I was playing a floor tom. And then a crash. This is the third time. Stop there. So I play a crash on the first groove. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. This is the third time. So we stop on the one. And there we go. One and two and start with the crash on the bass drum. Two. So what I do is I play a, a crash on that note. So I'm not playing a hi-hat there anymore, but I'm playing a crash angle. This is the third time. Two. Play a long crash on the one and two and three and four and one. So whenever I'm explaining something, don't stop playing. You know, keep touch of where you are and play just along with me. One and two and crash on the one and one and two and three and four and now, sometimes people start playing a second bass drum after the crash, as if it was before the crash, but that's not the idea of it. It's really on the one instead of the hi-hat that you see there. All right? Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one, two, three, floor and a four, one and two and three. That, you could call that sort of a fill. You know, it's really simple, but it can be very effective at times. So see if you can play that on the floor. Third time, one, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. And stay in time with me. Make sure you really know when you've been playing the third time of the groove. One, and two, and crash, and four, and one. Did you get that floor, Tom? That was a little sneaky of me, wasn't it? Now, third time of the groove. And now, we're going to practice that playing on these crashes. So, we do it every time that we start now. Are you ready? So, one more time. That's the second time. And also, the third time. See how that is for you. We stop on the one. One, two, three. Crash on the one. And one, and two, and three. And again, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and stop. Two. Very good. Keep on going. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. 
Now, while I'm still playing this, I'll explain the next thing that we're gonna do, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our hand that we're playing on the hi-hat. So the pattern that we're playing on the hi-hat, this thing, stop, that was three. Did you get that? Crash on the one, here we go. So we're gonna move that hand to the right symbol and play the same thing on the hi-hat. Here we go. One and two, and we're gonna lose the crash for a bit. So one and two and three and four and one and two. Second time, third time, and stop on the one. Are you ready? One, two, let it ring. And we start again. One and two and three and four and three. Now, at first, this is really hard because you're used to crossing your hand on the hi-hat. That was the third time. Two, three, one more time. And now you're moving your right hand over to the right symbol, to the right side. Third time. And we stop on the one. One, two. And that is really hard to do. Now there's another thing that's puzzling for our brain. And that's the fact that it's a complete different sound. So that might, you know, give you some trouble getting this, really getting into this groove. But as you can see, the movement is exactly the same. There's not any difference than the pattern that we were playing on the higher. So let's go back to that for a bit. Two, back to the higher than one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Now the next set of three, we're gonna play that on the right symbol again. Are you ready? One, and two, and go to the right, and one. Very good. Cool. One, two. Let's see if we can play a fill. So a hit on that floor tone. And one, and two, and three, and four, and. Oh, I was actually crashing the right symbol there. So why not use the actual crash for it? Now, if you don't have a symbol like that, don't be disappointed. You can use this to start. Go. One, and two, and. It's a great crash as well and if you open it a little halfway it really nicely wrinkles one and two and three there we go and one and two that's it so now I'm gonna use the actual crash again just simply because I have that thing and I'm gonna do it all the time so one and two and crash on every one one and two three and one more time one one more time, one and two. Now stop on the one. One and two and three. I'll be alternating a little bit. One and two. So if you don't have a crash, do it on the hi-hat. Two and three and four and one and two. It works just as fine. One, two, on the crash and one and two and three and four and one. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Now, in the meanwhile, when you're playing this thing, even if you're playing this for the second time, see if you can play a little bit of a fill right in where the gap is. It's a beautiful fill. It really works. You know, there's many situations in music where you could actually use that fill. So, see if you can find some for yourself. Two and three and four and one and two. Just some ideas. So do that for yourself, but be there back on the one with a crash. All right, here we go. One and two and three and four and. All right, we're gonna do crashes every time on the one again. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Four and one, two, and maybe you were doing your own fill there and you got distracted by me. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and there are just some ideas. So maybe the next time when you want to play it like that, then, you know, 
Invent your own fills in the silence. Now you notice that I was playing my crash with the left hand. That's pretty slick to do. But since we're practicing basic groove number one, why not check it out? How that works for you? Four and one and two and three and four and one. It's an advantage my right hand can stay on the right symbol. Two and three and four and one. Make a fill. Make a fill. It's a good practice to do this actually, playing that crash on the one with your left hand, one and two and three, and now with the right, one and two, and do that for the way that you feel that is nice for you. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four, one, two and four and one, two and four and one. Two. Last time, there we go. One and two and three and four and one and oh, what was that? Four and one. That was like not a snare drum, but a high tom on beat four. Why not? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Just some variations. See what you can do. One Yes, I just missed the crash. Good if you notice. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Last time we do this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and one more time for the higher players. And three and four and one. All right. So now you had a bit of a practice. And uh, this is really a way to really get comfortable with this basic groove number one. All right? Now, there's a reason that I play three times and then stop at the fourth bar. But I'll explain that later to you. Just get into this thing. And once you get more inspired and you want to play other stuff while I'm playing, go ahead. But make sure you come back on where I start with my one again. All right. Stay in time. Have fun practicing this. See you later. <laughs>